Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Mike. Today we're going to be talking a bit about movies,、ah, right? Movies,、mm. a good old flick, a lovely film. Watching a movie is a wonderful way to relax. People can do it now, of course, in the movie theater in the traditional way.、Mm-hmm. But more and more people do it from the comfort of their own home. You can even watch it in bed on your computer screen using Netflix, downloading the film, watching it in many other different ways on streaming services, or of course, go to. The movie theater. So, Pat,、yes. have you seen any good movies lately in the last few months or so? Few months.、Um, well, one we did watch.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I found out that my wife, as much as she knows some of the Disney songs and characters,、okay. had never sat and watched. The Little Mermaid. She, I don't think she'd watched Aladdin or The Lion King.、Wow. So we watched some of those Disney movies、okay. from like the the nineties、yeah, when Disney、yeah. kind of got big again. Right. Okay. Yeah, and so, then, did she have a particular favorite of those sort of nineties Disney classics? I think she liked The Little Mermaid a lot. Okay.、Uh, my favorite's Aladdin from、that's、that from that age. Yeah, that's so, definitely a good one. Now, a lot of those movies,、mm. the title comes from the old story. That Sure. The movie is made out of、mm-hmm. the Lion King is different. The、mm-hmm. Lion King's got its own title, right?、Yeah. You go the Lion King. Now that's a title that tells you exactly what the movie's going to be about. It's、mm. going to be about animals. It's、mm-hmm. we've got a king in there. The lion is the king, so we've got some kind of story about being a lion,、mm-hmm. being a king. It tells us a lot about the movie. Yeah, sure. And that is what we're going to be talking about today, because titles for movies are really important if it's going to be a big hit. Let's read through and find out more. Reading. Picking the perfect movie title. Many people dream of writing a movie. Your movie might have engaging characters and exciting scenes, but it also needs a great title. This needs to get the attention of a movie producer or agent, so it's important to get it right. Here are some tips. One, no copying. Obviously, don't use the title of a movie that already exists. It's also a bad idea to choose one that sounds too similar to an existing movie. So, Star Battles, The Devil Wears Louis Vuitton, and a shark film called Teeth are no good. Do some research to make sure you're not stealing another movie's title. Two, what's your movie about? Focusing on the essence of your movie will help you pick a title. What is the meaning of the film? What emotions do you want your audience to feel? Answering these questions will help you find a title. You also need to convey the movie's genre. Comedies, horror films, and action movies all have different kinds of titles. Don't give your comedy a scary-sounding name. So this article is our activity article for、okay. this month, and the idea is to give you guys some ideas about coming up with a great movie title.、Ooh. Yeah, as the article starts by saying, many people dream of writing a movie.、Mm. They have a great idea. They've got some great images. Characters and so on, and they write it, and they just want to go. Wow, that's my movie. That's、Absolutely. my. We call it a screenplay, and they want to get it turned into a big movie one day. For sure, you might be attracted by the glamour of being a a movie star or something like that. But as you get into movies and really become a fan, yeah, you might think of directing your own movie or writing your own movie, coming up with the story and the characters. That the actors will then make or perform. So your movie might have engaging characters and exciting scenes. Hopefully it does,、mm. but it also needs a great title.、Right. Absolutely, many great movies also have a great title. There are some great movies with not so good titles,、mm. but a great title, an engaging title, can be just as important as engaging characters or engaging exciting scenes. 
So when we hear this word "engage," we often think about people who are planning to get married. If you ask someone to marry you, you might say, "Oh, we're engaged. We'll get married in a few months." But here, we don't mean anything like that. Here, engaging is more like something that is interesting, that's attractive, that kind of draws you in, that makes you curious, or maybe touches your heart in some kind of way. It's definitely not boring or uninteresting to you. It's something you like and probably. Probably want to know more about because it appeals to you or draws you in in some kind of positive way. So yeah, a good movie will have an engaging character, an engaging、mm-hmm. story, and of course, all of this will play out in the movie in lots of engaging scenes. That's right.、Uh, a scene is a single kind of. I guess unit of either action or talking in a movie or in a play or a TV show, and a scene is kind of a non-stop kind of start to finish that takes place either in the same place and in the、mm-hmm. same time.、Mm-hmm. You don't go to it if you change the location; that's a different scene. If、uh, if you go to later on in the day, it's、mm-hmm. another scene. So it's everything that takes place in one set of time in one play. It could have more than one character、sure. coming and going, but it. It's just a whole scene there, so something exciting could happen. There's a dramatic conversation, or it could just be a scene where people walk from one place to the other,、yeah. maybe talking a bit. So we could say, for example, "Wow, that scene where the dinosaur fights the giant robot kangaroo was amazing." So there, that would be an interesting scene in a movie,、mm. and I want to watch that movie. That was a very exciting scene, right? So yeah, you've got characters, you've got scenes.、Mm. But the title is important too. Right, absolutely. Having a great movie is all very important, of course. But the title can really get people to pay attention right away. And so it says this needs to get the attention of a movie producer or agent. So it's important to get it right. Yeah,、mm. absolutely. A title can help you get the movie made. You're not talking about getting people to go to the movie theater and buy a ticket. You're talking about getting people to give you the money to even make the movie in the first place. An important title can help you open doors. Getting to meet the right agent, for example. What is an agent? Basically, in the world of show business, an agent is kind of like a manager, but it's、mm. a person who would go. Out and do the business of the show business for you. Their main job is basically to get the performers' jobs. So if you're an actor, your agent will say, "Hey, they're making a new TV show, and now you can go down and try out." If you're a musician, the agent will say, "Hey, they're having a wedding and they need a band. I got them to give you the job." So、mm. the agent's job is basically finding the business. And bringing the show people, bringing the performers together. Exactly. So you need to get that great title to get their attention, so that they will make your movie.、Mm. As the article says, here are some tips. Now pay attention to these tips、mm. because you will use them in the activity part、mm. of this article. All right. So tip number one: no copying.、Mm. Yes, you don't just steal the title of another movie. There was a successful movie called Titanic. I'm going to make a movie about a big boat, and I'm going to call it. Titanic.、Mm. You can't do that. No, as the article says, obviously, don't use the title of a movie that already exists.、Mm. When we use the adverb "obviously," we mean something is clear. It's easy to understand. It's it's just staring you right in the face. You can't make a mistake about its meaning. Of course, you don't want to copy the title of a movie because it might be breaking the law,、sure. and people will. Just say they're copying. This isn't a new idea. I don't want to see that movie.、Yeah. Now you can do it if you're remaking a movie. Okay. You know, there's a a movie in the 1950s, and、mm-hmm. you go, well, I'm going to make it again,、mm. so we can use the same title, something、okay. like that. But usually, there's some kind of agreement going on to allow that to happen.、True. That's a different case. In that case, you maybe could reuse the title, but this is your own idea, your own movie, and you want to have your own title. Here's another example of how we can use obviously in a sentence. Joshua didn't eat lunch, so obviously he was very hungry 
by dinner time. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. That's very would be. easy to understand. So yeah, don't use a title that already exists. Right. If something exists. It is. It is in the world. It is a thing. It's not part of your imagination. It's not something that might happen in the future. It is. We can talk about existing. Are you alive?、Mm-hmm. Well done. You exist. Yes. People in the past, they existed in the past tense, but they don't now. If I have an idea for a movie or write it down, well, then my idea exists, but I can't say I made a movie. Really, what's it called? Well, no one actually made it, but I have an idea. It doesn't exist. Your movie. It might in the future, but it isn't a real thing in the world right now. So it doesn't exist yet. For example, humans and dinosaurs didn't exist on Earth at the same time. No, we both existed. Humans exist now. Dinosaurs、mm-hmm. in the past, but we didn't exist at the same time. Right. So you can't steal another movie's exact title.、Okay. And as the article says, it's also a bad idea to choose one that sounds too similar. To an existing movie,、oh. because again, people will say you're just copying. You're not thinking of your own ideas. That kind of thing.、Mm, yeah, that's a good tip. So here are a few examples of very similar sounding movies. See if you can guess which one our fake movies are、okay. kind of copying. So it says Star Battles. Star Wars, Star Battles, Star Wars. The Devil Wears Louis Vuitton. The devil wears Prada, or the devil wears Chanel, anything、yeah. like that. Not a good idea. And a shark film or a shark movie called Teeth are no good. Jaws, Jaws. That's、right. what your teeth work on. So teeth, Jaws, giant chompers on a fish. That yeah, these are not good titles because they're too similar to famous movies that are already out there. All right, and there we also have this idiom: "Be no good." If you copy another movie title, this is no good. Basically, if something is no good, we're saying it's bad. It's not good. It's unhelpful. It's useless. It's something you shouldn't do. It's a bad choice. It really is not this. It's mostly this, all right. So if you don't like something, you just say it was no good. How was that restaurant? Oh, it was no good. The salad was no good. The service was no good. It was just no good from beginning to end. You didn't like it. It wasn't good. It was bad. Now, of course, those examples we gave: star battles like Star Wars, The Devil Wears Louis Vuitton. These are close to popular movies that、mm-hmm. most of us have known. But there are a lot of movies out there. Right, many movies have been made, so you might have to check out if your idea was another movie before, because maybe it was. Just not a famous movie, right? And in that case, it's not so bad as long as you're、yeah. presenting that something new and different and、right. interesting and modern.、Mm. So whatever, whether it's the title or、mm-hmm. the idea, this next piece of the article is good advice. It says, do some research to make sure you're not stealing another movie's title. Yeah. So research is the activity of finding out existing facts and information. You're not looking for something new. You're just looking for facts that already exist. To、mm. use one of our words from today,、yeah. you're going online. You're going to a library. You're checking out what is already known, and that will help you and give you the information. That is research. It can also be a verb. You can research something. Absolutely, and a simple way is to Google the title,、mm-hmm. or go to one of those like IMDb, an internet movie website. website yeah. yeah, website for movies. Just type in a title and see if it's there, because you don't want to steal the title of a movie that already came out before. When you steal something, it means you're taking something, but it's against the law. It's not yours to take. Something that belongs to another person, you could borrow it. If you ask them, "Hey, can I use this for a little while?" and if they say okay, that's fine. You're borrowing it. But if you don't know them, if you don't ask, or if they say no, and then you take it, 
Now you're stealing it, and of course, this can be against the law,、mm -hmm. and it's certainly not right to do. For example, hey, you stole my seat. <gasps> I was sitting there. I just got up to go to the washroom, and you came and sat in my seat. That's not against the law, but it's not the right thing to do. Exactly. So there we go. That's tip number、okay. one: no copying. No、so、this stealing. Is, no copying. Yeah, this、mm -hmm. is one thing you definitely shouldn't do. But what do you do? What do you need to think about when you can't, when you want to come up with this great title?、Mm. Well, part two will, of tip two will、mm -hmm. give you these clues. It says, "What's your movie about?" That's、mm. what we need to think about. This whole tip is a question. That's a good point. Yeah, if your movie is about car racing, you don't want to call it "Roses in a Field." No, that that'd wouldn't be, make sense. Kind of confusing. So focusing on the essence of your movie will help you pick a title. Yeah, what's the movie about? What is the essence of your movie? When we talk about the essence of something, we're talking about kind of the the main idea. What is the the sort of main thing we're talking about? What is the world that we're living in? Is it kind of a a war movie? Is it a a space movie? Is it about aliens? Is it about you know just really if you Boil the movie down. If you were going to tell me what the movie was about in five words or less,、mm -hmm. you might be getting down to the essence of it. The Good main... friends become bad enemies. Okay, there、right. you go. The main idea. So that movie would be about relationships、mm. or something. All right. Okay, so that's its essence. And、mm. to kind of think about this, we've got some other questions you can try and answer in the article.、Okay. The first one is: What is the meaning of the film? You know, maybe it's that you know, if you do things badly, you will in the end get punished. Maybe、okay. it's about how lying will get you in trouble.、Mm. Maybe it's about how true love is difficult and you need to work for it.、Mm -hmm. Could be any of those. Could be the meaning of the film. We have another question you need to think of、mm -hmm. as well. Okay, what emotions do you want the your audience to feel? This kind of relates to the meaning. It relates to the essence. It's about the feelings you want the audience to feel, or you expect the audience to have when they watch the movie. If it's an action movie, a war movie, a science movie, it might be excitement and adventure. If it's a movie about friends, you know, losing friends or. Families or love. It might be about you know emotions and relationships and and love and things like that. So, what kind of feelings do you want the audience to have? Again, is it an action movie? Is it a horror movie? Is it a comedy movie? This is also giving us an idea of the emotions that people have as they watch it. So yeah, a good movie maker, a good actor, any kind of good performer will want the audience to feel some different emotions as they watch the show of whatever kind. And what is the audience? Well, the audience are just the people there watching the show. If you go to a movie theater and sit there eating your popcorn. Watching the movie, you are the audience. If you're at a play or a concert or a little jazz club or watching a comedian or a circus, if you're in the crowd, not in the show, but in the crowd watching, you are the audience. If we're talking about sports, we might use a different word like the crowd or something like that. But if we're talking about any kind of artistic performance, we would often use the word audience for the people watching. For example, the audience started cheering. When the singer walked onto the stage, so yeah, that you want the audience to feel something, and、mm. knowing what emotion they want will also inform the title because、mm. the title could kind of give an idea as、sure. to what the movie is going to be about. So we've had what's the meaning of the movie,、mm -hmm. what emotions should people feel, what's the movie about. Answering these questions, as the article says, will help you find a title. There you go. You also need to convey the movie's genre. This was we kind of talked about this before when talking about the essence of the movie or the emotions the audience would have. The movie genre is basically the style of movie it is: horror,、mm -hmm. science fiction,、uh, war movie, that kind of thing. And to convey, basically, to convey is to communicate. All right, we can use it to say carry things like. A truck conveys things from the factory 
to the stores, or a bus conveys people around the city. But here, we're not talking about carrying things in the real world. We're talking about carrying ideas or information. When we speak, we are conveying information to other people by using words and giving them information. So we're just talking about giving the audience the idea. Of what style of movie they will watch. For example, the politician's speech conveyed a message of hope.、Hmm. He wanted to say a lot of things to make people happy and hopeful about the future. That was the message or the idea the speech conveyed. So when we think about genre,、mm. then we think about because if you think about it, an action movie is、mm. going to have a sort of exciting title. That, yeah, you know, rush, energy,、right. fire, blasting, something like that. Sudden blast, like The Fast and the Furious. Ooh, that's an action movie title,、yeah. and it sounds like you see that title, The Fast and the Furious. Right, that's going to be an action movie. They're moving quickly and they're、yeah. angry. It's not a love story movie,、no. is it? So the article says. Comedies,、mm. horror films, and action movies all have different kinds of titles.、Mm. If your movie's called Castle of Blood, it's、mm-hmm. probably a horror movie. Yeah, My best、bet. friend's wedding,、mm-hmm. probably a romantic movie. Unless you kill everyone at the wedding. But then it's a sort of a twist, and we're we're not going into yeah, twist no, movies just yet. Yeah, no, we're not doing、yet. that. So basically, yes, your、uh, your title should give a very good or a very general, at least, idea of what kind of movie. So as it says, don't give your comedy a scary sounding name. Right, Dracula、mm-hmm. kills is not the way to say people. It's going to be fun, and you'll laugh a lot. No,、yeah. it sounds scary. Exactly. Now we have some more tips tomorrow, but for now we're going to go to today's for you chat question. For you chat. All right.、Mm. So we've been talking about movie titles as if we were making our own. One of the most important things. Tip number one was don't copy. Other movie titles. You can't just take a good idea and use it again or change it a little bit. But there are a lot of good movie titles out there that、yeah. you might want to, you know, try to be similar to. But let's talk about some of those classic great movie titles. What are some of the coolest、Ooh. movie titles? Real movie titles. That you can think of. Well, as、uh, I think, a lot of action movies have got great titles.、Yep. Think of The Terminator,、mm. Die Hard, Ooh. Predator. Ooh. You know, all of these communicate the idea there's going to be violence, there's going to be death, that、yep. kind of thing. Okay.、Um, one of my favourite movies of all time is. The usual suspects.、Oh. So it makes you think. Okay, what are they suspected of? Why are they the usual suspects?、Yeah. What is going on here? It's actually、uh, it, the movie. That movie title relates to a line from Casablanca,、right. one of the greatest movies、yeah. of all time.、Um, but yeah, something like that has got some pretty unusual. Or the one that movie I really like,、mm-hmm. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Eternal Sunshine, so sunshine forever of the spotless mind, a clean mind getting、mm. sunshine forever. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah,、That's, it doesn't really give you an idea of the、no. genre of movie that one. No, we will mention. I might mention that one again tomorrow、okay. in one of the tips. But it's basically about wiping away your bad memories、oh. so you never have to remember them again. Oh, okay. But it's a really cool movie title,、mm-hmm. and it definitely makes you want to find out what's going on. Any cool movies you can think of? Well, I think you hit, you hit the nail on the head with the action movies and, of course, horror movies as well.、Oh, yeah. Some of those have Nightmare on Elm Street yeah, or something like、one. Friday the Thirteenth.、Mm-hmm. Those are good because it gives you an idea that this is probably scary and about you know monsters or demons or something bad like that. So、mm-hmm. those are some other classics. Okay, well that's all the time we've got for today. But join us tomorrow for more tips and advice on picking the perfect movie title. See you then. Bye for now. Vocabulary review. Scene. I like the scene in the movie that shows the hero saving a woman from a burning building. Obviously. Obviously, I didn't take any fun holidays overseas during the COVID nineteen crisis. Exist. 
Sometimes I wonder if life exists on other planets. Steel. Jane wrote a story about robot cowboys, but Tommy stole her idea and wrote about the same thing. Audience. Sally writes books about teenage romance, and her audience is mostly young girls. Convey. Larry puts on his headphones to convey that he doesn't want to talk to anyone. 智慧小补帖 Engaging. Agent. Research. Essence. <音>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零。或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。